And hello, welcome to this video of uh, NI Deck MX. So in this video, I'm trying to explore some of the features in NI Deck MX because uh, I I have a project I'm I'm working on working uh, that works with NI Deck MX. In fact, it's a deck. So yeah, so I'm trying to play around with the uh, NI Deck MX uh, Python API, and these are some of the limited documentation that's available. Uh, NI Deck MX dash python read the docs io forward slash en forward slash latest that will give you the most generic form of the ni deck mx documentation okay so that will give you the most uh, generic example of the ni deck mx documentation well if you ask me that if there's any more unfortunately there is very little there's very little help available if you look at this uh, documentation here under the ni deck mx python tutorial you won't find it on the the left side but over here uh, <coughs> over here you will you will find uh, you will find this uh, what do you call it Python uh, tutorial uh, NI deck MX guides you can see the uh, you can see the stuff that's over here it's very very limited okay uh, let me close this okay it says the current documentation of NI deck MX package is limited since all APIs actually reference some common C libraries so uh, that part I'll talk about later, but current documentation of NI Deck MX package is limited. So we will have to take a look at the, the C files under the hood, which LabVIEW also relies on in order to understand what's going on. <coughs> okay, so it's very limited. So we'll just figure stuff out as we go along. Um, some things that may help is this uh, page that uh, says learn 10 functions in NI Deck MX if you don't want to look at the C if you don't want to look at the, the C or C++ code first you might want to take a look at this learn 10 functions in NI Deck MX okay all of these are in lab view programming style so um, it may or may not be good uh, because this is kind of stuck with lab view I don't see any uh, Python code however there is a uh, <coughs> there is a uh, what do you call this? There is .NET code here, and some C++ code, and uh, if you can understand what's going on here, you can sort of uh, guess what to do in the in the Python, uh, in the Python uh, workspace or whatever in the Python code. Okay, because uh, I guess the logic is similar. <coughs> the logic is similar, so we can try that. We can try that, but again, no no guarantees. You'll probably I'll probably knock my head around. A few times just to figure out what's going on. Uh, here's another one: Control NI Deck MX with Python and NI, uh, NI Deck device with Python and NI Deck MX. So this one just skip. This one's really interesting. This is uh, if you're interested in looking at uh, the NI Deck MX uh, C code. Here is where you can find it, and you have to like download some PDFs in order to look through. Now I've not looked through them yet, so. I'll just present what I know. This is a useful link and uh, I'm leaving it in the description. Okay, so this is uh, another useful thing, but I don't know if it's of use. Uh, it is that if it's that useful now. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm just going to leave it in the description. The last one, it's talking about command prompt uh, font size change. Why? Because command prompt is very small. I actually just want to uh, change the font. This is not really NI Deck MX related, but it will make uh, <coughs> it will make the video capture a little bit easier, and of course it'll make uh, the the eye, the strain on the eyes that much better as well. Maybe I'll font, make the font size twenty four, and there you go. Okay, if you're interested, why why uh why I can use ls in the command prompt uh, straight is because I have some uh, batch files that uh, actually uh. Yeah, they actually execute. Uh, let's say ls ls. If I type in ls, it will get an ls batch file that will execute the dir command. So, which is all of this here. Even l will do the same. So these are just some custom shortcuts I have. So instead of uh, cls, I use clear because uh, clear clear is another batch file that will run cls. So this uh, I have this in another video. If you're interested, just leave in a just leave a comment below. If you want to know how all these are done. Otherwise, uh, let's just continue. Alright, so um, 
yeah, before I start, I'll probably want to change directory to my uh, documents and I want to make a directory for YouTube and I'll dump all my stuff over here I'll probably make some git repositories here as well okay and I've of course uh, installed git uh, vim as well if you are interested in uh, knowing how uh, I did vim here and of course git as well how I did all this just leave a leave a question or comment in the description below and then I'll then I will try to send you the links if um, I can find them so now um, I assume you have already uh, installed NIDAC MX uh, using this uh, sim uh, setup python pip install NIDAC MX or one of these uh, installation scripts you have already imported NIDAC MX second assumption I will have is that uh, I assume you know how to create all these uh, modules I did so in the last video so you can just check it out it's in the same playlist uh, you can check out my channel if uh, you, you get lost uh, okay so yeah uh, you can check it out but now we'll start proper okay so uh, let's start proper um, first thing first is that we want, we're gonna want to try and figure our way around okay there are a few things we did in the last video for example uh, we made a few virtual decks to play with we made okay we actually make one virtual deck to play with and I added some instruments as uh, shown in the tutorial last video and I also created a task excuse me sorry that was embarrassing um, anyway uh, I made a task and this task is just here to uh, measure stimulated temperature and voltage signals yeah, I calibrated it the last video to uh, do some continuous samples over time okay and the source is a constant uh, 75 degrees C voltage so that's that it's a virtual deck uh, it's not meant to simulate very much except to give us some tools to familiarize ourselves with NI deck MX so first thing first uh, what we want to do uh, just to familiarize ourselves is well we, we'll just use at the we'll, we'll just look at the usage over here and I'm actually going to look at this part right uh, for system, device and system devices print device why am I printing a device here because <coughs> because I'm trying to uh, uh, know what kind of uh, what yeah, yeah over here I'm trying to uh, you, uh, do a reading make NI deck MX read a value of some sort in this case it's a voltage um, however uh, that assumes you know all the channel names as you can see over here this channel name is called dev1 AI0 where do you find that in the first place usually you will have to look inside the the NI modules and you'll see the name here this is called my deck this is called module A this is called module B module C and module D right so uh, how do you know all your device names okay the device names uh, I guess you can just uh, uh, do a print uh, for, de for device in system devices you can print the device so this is the first uh, first stop of our code <coughs> And I actually want to make a class to kind of wrap the code around so that I don't have to keep keying in all of these things. Right? I don't I don't like looking at all these complicated codes. I want to make it simple as possible. So that's why I, I make Python wrappers. So uh well just for demonstration, let's start by doing a Python 3. Okay. I'm gonna start Python 3. And I'm not going to make the class just yet. Okay, inline uh, demonstration. I'm going to do an inline demonstration, which is basically I'm going to try to uh, do my version of whatever this code is. So I need to import NIDAC MX system. So let's let's import NIDAC MX dot system. And if everything goes well, nothing should, uh, no error should pop up. I'll switch back here and I'll go to 
uh, what's the next one? System equals ni dex sys. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just copy and paste this code. I'll copy and paste this code. Right? System equals ni dex mx dot system dot big uh, capital system dot local. So this this is actually, I guess, an alias if you if you will. Uh, this is actually a a function. Okay, this is a function. Uh, uh, in the in the class, I guess, I guess it's a very very many layers down, so you have so many dots here. But it's a function uh, in essence, or it could be a class. I, I really don't know. Okay, okay. The the next one is this system driver version, which I'm not actually that interested in. But the thing uh, I'm more interested in is to print all the devices in the system devices. Oops. Yeah, I don't want this. Okay. Oh, never mind. For okay, for device in system dot devices, device in system dot devices. Okay, and then what happens? I need a colon. Okay, then I I, I have this dot dot dot. I need to indent four times. One two three four. That's my usual practice. Print device. Okay, and then enter again. And then it should have four devices here according to the names of whatever virtual decks and virtual cards that we've added into this uh, NIMAX. Okay, so this is a device and interfaces. We should be able to see this. So, um, yeah, let's, let's actually uh, make life easier for ourselves by putting all this in a class so that we don't have to repeat everything again. So now I'm going to exit. I'm going to exit this. And I'm going to do Vim. Okay, Vim uh NI deck MX. Okay, I'm not gonna use MI deck MX. Uh, I'm gonna use a uh, Python NI deck dot py. Okay, I just call it Python NI deck dot py or Python NI deck demo. Oh that's very long. Okay, whatever. Okay. Can I have this? I'm gonna have a class here. Okay, I assume you know uh, Python programming, so I'm gonna use classes, uh, functions, inheritance. If uh, inheritance is needed, I'll try not to make it more complicated than it has to be. But classes are useful in in and of themselves. So uh, that's where I start doing classes at around twelve minutes, twelve forty-two. Creating a demo class. Okay, so I will call the first class ni deck mx wrapper. Wrappers. Okay, so first I'll just have a placeholder that says pass, and then I'll save. <coughs> okay, so what what's the ni deck mx wrappers uh, wrapper? These these are just functions that make it easier to execute all of this, uh, this this these things here, the import. The shortening of the thing into a system, etc., etc. Okay, so um, let's let's uh, go and uh, go and uh, continue. We'll try to uh, encapsulate everything that we have into a class, and now of course, uh, my my style of coding is not just to have the class over here. I like to have a test class here as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Reason reason I have that is because uh, when I when I have all these wrapper classes, these custom classes, I want to put them to the test, right? So that's why I have a test class down there that will just do a it will drive the code. Okay. Last one I have is a workspace class. Uh, that will handle the reloading of classes every time I change the code. So I assume you know what this is. I'm not going to uh, explain what reloading is, but I'm going to just uh, do some things here. I'm going to have a constructor in it. Okay, and the, the thing is self. Okay, so this is the constructor. Hmm. Okay, so what I like to do, uh, print uh, initializing workspace. Okay, and then I, I don't need the pass here as 
in already so um, and then I will have another I'm gonna make another function called initialize defaults no. okay, insert mode self please self okay so uh, what is that what is this here <clears throat> okay I'm going to do a few things first thing I'm going to import this very file okay this is called python ni deck okay pa import python ni deck and then from from python ni deck import uh, import what I want to import the test the ni deck mx wrappers I want to import this class from python ni deck import uh, the test class I want to import the test class and then I'll load them into the self object okay equals ni deck M mx wrappers self dot uh, test equals to test and then I also want to import from import library import reload self dot reload equals reload so this is actually uh, initiates some things in the the instance of the class so I don't have to keep doing it again okay so I'm just going to do self dot initialize defaults Okay, so I'm gonna do that. So I, I have this on already. Uh, I can just say uh, print. Come on. Print workspace default initiated. Just to know that this code actually works. Next thing I want to do is uh, oh right I have not even I don't even have the, the define function here great okay there you go much better def ah okay now the colors look right I wonder if I can turn on this this annoying beep huh. so I'll, I'll figure out that I'll figure that out later. Okay, so um, if I want to reload classes, I'll just use this reload classes. Okay, and I will just uh, reload equals self dot reload. Okay, so I'm loading the reload from from the class, and then I will just uh, import Python ni deck. Okay, and then I will reload it. Python and I deck. And then whatever. Mm, whatever I have from here, I can just copy and paste the codes in. So I'm going to shift V for visual. I'm going to yank this. I'm going to paste it here. Let's see what else. Yeah, after the reload, everything should be okay. So that I can reload classes anytime I need to. Okay. And then, uh, what is all this for? I actually want to use this workspace to help load my objects. Okay, so. <coughs> So uh, let me uh, quickly write the, the, the objects to load. Okay, so I want to get test object. Okay, so this is the this is a good part. Get test object. I will self uh, reload classes, and then <coughs> self dot object 
equals to self dot tests. So I'm declaring a, an, an object and I return it. Okay, and the other one is uh, get uh, Python ni deck object. Okay, self reload classes in case I change self dot uh, Python uh, ni deck. Okay. Let's just call it ni deck mx wrapper object. Get ni deck wrappers object. Okay. Self dot ni deck wrappers or oh, ni deck mx. Man, I better get my syntax right. I'm gonna have a lot of errors later. Ni deck mx wrappers equals to ni deck mm. oh, I need to do a class declaration here self dot what is this called ni deck mx wrappers okay so this is the object which I want I want to use it to get the ni. I want to start by declaring this ni deck mx wrappers. <coughs> then I'll return it to the environment. Self dot ni deck deck mx wrapper object. Okay. So this is it. Ni deck mx wrappers object. And to test if it's working, I'll just make two constructors and I'll erase the pass. And then I'll, I'll do a self here. Self. Okay, print. Welcome to NI deck MX wrapper uh, class. Okay. And then this one is Welcome to the test class Okay I am pretty like 80% sure there will be some errors so uh, we will just have to take some time to debug Let's clear this up Python 3 and then I will import Python ni deck Oh okay. It looks like there's uh, there's something here, so I'll I'll need to get it out. <coughs> I mean Python. Can I like oh, py? Oops. Vim uh, Python. What do I have this? Oh yeah, Python, ni deck dot py. Apparently there is something there. Oh, there's this little i thing. Great. Okay. What else? Should be using something better like an IDE, but you know. Python 3. Import Python ni deck from Python ni deck. Import uh, workspace. Let's call the workspace self. Workspace. If I'm not wrong. Yes, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'd like to automate this part as well, but. <coughs> okay, so import Python ni deck, import workspace. Let's uh, self dot. Uh, get test object what do I have a oh okay let's try the other one before I go and edit uh, self dot get uh, ni deck mx wrapper object okay so ni deck mx wrapper object okay so I'll need to do some uh, uh, 
Yay. Python and I deck. Oh, okay, okay. So I just type twice. Okay. Oh, it's wrapper with an S. Okay, that's why. And the test test here should not have an S. So I'm just gonna save and quit like that. Import Python and I deck from Python and I deck import workspace self equals workspace self dot import oh get and I deck mx wrappers object <coughs> okay so it says line 35 return self oh 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 I, I misspelled wrappers okay let me get the other one get test object Okay, so uh, welcome to test class. So the test class works, the other one doesn't. Okay, so let's see. I, I said wrappers, not wrappers. Okay. Okay, so let's try again. Last one. Hmm. Then I'll start adding in code. Py uh, import. Python and I deck uh, from Python and I deck import workspace uh, self equals workspace uh, self dot get and I deck mx wrappers object okay so now I have the class and uh, and it's working and ideally I'll just I'll just run the test object. Okay, so let me exit and uh, I'll probably want to type out some documentation how this thing is supposed to be used properly but uh, I'll just demonstrate one thing um, okay hmm. so uh, first first thing first right we, we want to encapsulate uh, encapsulate this this uh, ni that MX into a class so uh oops okay so let, let's try doing that uh we're going to import the nidex mx system and then i'm going to uh run a test on it so should not keep opening new ones so uh here's the nidex mx wrapper and actually you know what i i'll just i'll just open two command prompts this is way easier okay two command prompts and yeah okay why didn't I think of that before let's bring the phone up to 24 okay CD documents and let's go to uh, YouTube uh, let's see Python 3 and I'll have one Python console here Okay, I don't know how to do the clear thing. Let's clear first and then we do a Python 3. Okay, so we have a Python 3 here. So uh I'll have one I'll have one site here and uh the console over here. So import uh Python and I deck from Python and I deck import workspace self equals workspace and then yeah I can start from here after getting that object and everything so yeah let's let's do a let's do it in the ni deck mx wrapper okay uh, first thing first uh, <coughs> what do I want to do I want to let's say have a class to do all of this for me okay so um, I will just have um, at the end of the day I'll be using this thing called system okay so uh, I guess uh, I will start by having a build system meaning to say I will put the, the whole system the whole local system into uh, into this uh, NI deck MX wrapper class okay so therefore uh, build uh, 
system self okay so what's build system do import ni okay import to ni that mx dot system that mx dot system and under mx.system then system equals to whatever this is I'm just going to copy and paste okay so what I'm doing here is to uh, once I have this uh, system thing once I have this system thing I want to put it oh. huh, the, the paste doesn't work here as well never mind I haven't figured out how to do it properly Okay. Uh, system equals ni dot mx dot system dot system dot local. Okay. System equals to ni dot mx dot system. System dot system dot local. <coughs> now what I do? Okay. I will make use of object-oriented programming. I'll just load the thing into the the self object. So this is what build system will do. After build system, uh, def. Uh, what do I want to do? After build system, I will want to uh, print. Let's see. What do I want to do? I'll just call this print devices. Print devices. Okay, and this this will need a uh, build system already done. So for device in system dot devices print device. Okay, so that's all this code is doing. Okay, for sys uh device in system dot devices print device, and that's all this code is doing. Okay, however um. We cannot just use uh, system.devices here. Well, we need to load it from the self object. If not, it won't recognize. The class won't recognize what's going on. So I will need system equals self.system. Uh, and then I will load it here. So I, I have to assume that you're already familiar with all this uh, Python programming thing. I'm not going to repeat it. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through basics now. So I, assume, I, have to, I assume you know. OK. So here's a test class. Let's just define a test one or test uh, print devices. Okay, and what do I do here? Uh, the whole idea here is to load this ni deck mx wrapper. So import Python ni deck. Okay, from Python ni deck, import uh, ni deck mx wrappers. Okay. Why is the scroll not working? Okay, never mind. Yeah, I rather use maybe I should use Windows subsystem for Linux. I'll have an easier time. Okay. Uh oh, this is the workspace. I don't want to do anything with that. Save. Let me save it first. Yeah, uh, okay. What is next? I'll need to declare an object from this. So I'll just call this ob uh, ni deck object equals to ni deck mx wrappers. Wrappers. Okay. So there are two things I need to execute. One is to build the system, one is to do the print devices. So ni deck object dot build system okay ni deck object dot print devices okay so if everything works out this should be fine I just I'm just integrating all of this into my own wrapper so it makes coding maybe easier <coughs> I don't have to do things so manually uh, so I'm going to get the test object test equals to self dot uh, get test object Okay, pardon me if it's very uh it's a it's a huge data overload now. I'm introducing so many concepts within a short time. But 
I'm going to leave it as this for tonight and I'll uh, explain it slowly over the next videos if I have the time. I hope I do. <laughs> so test equals to self dot get test object. So I'm getting the test class, which is this part. And then let's see whether running the uh, the test will work. Print test devices. Okay, see so now now I've loaded all my devices after importing Python and I deck and doing all that. That's fine. Now the nice thing about this is that if I change the code, okay. For example, I just have a test complete thing printed here. Okay. Normally, if if I want to uh, print the test devices, there won't be any change here. I need to kind of reload this whole uh, test class, and that's what the get test object is for. Oopsie. Yeah, I'll just get a uh, get the test object and then I will uh, use the test devices and see the, the test complete is now printed. So that's that's why I like to have this uh, workspace object. I like to have this workspace object so that it helps to reload all of this quickly, rather than you know uh, having to redo the reloads over and over again, especially when you work with uh, object oriented programming in the Python class. And uh, okay, the print test devices will be here. Print. Let me just put a space at the start and end, just to uh, make it a little bit better. Okay. Get the test object again and print device. Okay, so now it's a lot neater. Okay. Uh. I've just done a lot of this stuff off the bat, but yeah. Uh, now now I'm able to see the module A, module B, module C, and module D, and that's a good start to uh, putting all of this all of this stuff, confusing stuff, into something a little bit more palatable. Yeah, organization is a lot, but uh, yeah, yeah. I I won't explain too much what this is. It's just my style of doing things. I have this, yeah, I won't explain. I'm very tempted to explain, but no, I won't explain anymore. Okay, so I'll leave it as that, uh, and I guess I'll, uh, I'll have to see you next time. Now, uh, upload this to GitHub, yeah, GitHub, I guess. Uh, so, uh, and hopefully over there, from there, you can start working on, on your own things. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.